Wakati wa ukame kuachi ninyeuke ona kupenda uninyunyizi ya emaji wakati wa ukame Wati ninye uke ona kupenda na kupenda bwana Yesu na kupenda Kama mti kando ya mto Hivyo divyo nilivyo Munyunyi zi wangu Ona kupenda Na kupenda Kupenda Nyunyi Si wangu Ona Kupenda Kama mti Kando ya mto Hivyo Divyo nilivyo Bwana Yesu na kupenda Mnyunyi si wangu Ona kupenda Na kupenda Na kupenda mnyunyi si wangu ona kupenda amen our lord and savior i want to thank you for such a time as this i want to thank you because your word is forever more settled in heaven in Psalms 119 and verses 89, and your word is you. The Bible says in Revelation that I saw the Son of God seated upon a horse, and his dress was written, his garment was having the name that the word of God. Father, your word is true, your word is correct, your word is everything. I want to thank you because the Antichrist will not succeed in this nation. And I want to thank you because when we pray, you hear us. Yes, you hear us when we pray. You hear us. I want to thank you and I want to bless you. The Bible says in the word, in the, in the book of Proverbs and chapter 11, this is what your word says, Proverbs chapter 11, the Bible says that the wicked works a deceitful work, but to him that sows righteousness shall be a sure reward. That when we call upon your name and when we live a righteous life, you are faithful and you have been faithful to answer us. Proverbs 14 and verses 20 are 34. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any person. And Proverbs chapter 16, verse 12, the Bible says it is an, ab an abomination, a detestable 
to kings to commit wickedness for the throne is established by righteousness amen the throne is established by righteousness the throne is established by righteousness what a faithful god we serve what a faithful god we serve and what a faithful god that answers our prayers father god thank you because of your mercies and thank you because you are faithful and thank you because you are great the bible says in verses 5 proverbs 11 verses 5 the righteous of 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 the the righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness what a faithful god what a faithful god what a faithful god we serve bless the nation of kenya bless gen z's bless their parents bless this government bless even the body of christ let your name be glorified in jesus name we pray amen Amen. Amen. What a wonderful moment, a wonderful Sunday service. Ah, this is a Sunday service that I always long to be and I always long to be because we are learning a lot of things. I know there is there is no peace in this nation and as I said earlier that when you see and when you hear the nation then the the kingdom of god or the heaven is quiet know that there are things that are about to happen and i want to thank god because what has been happening in this nation god has been speaking since 2022 till today this is the manifestation and it gives us hope that there will be light that is going to shine our prayers have not been in vain Your prayers with me have not been in vain. We have seen God stop the floods. God is a compassion God. Amen. Full of mercy that when we appear to the throne of grace, God hears us to the seat of mercy. God hears us and God is a faithful God. Amen. Do you have my number? Have you been saying woman of God, I want to stand with you in prayer. I want to stand with you even with my finances that the gospel will continue in this nation amen now this is my pay bill number and i want you to partner with me i need your 1000 i need your 500 shillings partner and support me in this ministry that i may continue reaching to those that are in the village through the radio local radio stations and they can hear what you are hearing and they can pray with the language they understand amen this is my pay bill number 400222 my account number is 1739983 send your transactions send your tithes your offering to my mpesa number 0746553997 amen we shall still continue preaching because the word of god must continue amen amen and god is going to show us mercy because he's a faithful god glory be to god he's a faithful god amen i want us to learn a little uh, and much about the word of god we say that the word of god it brings spiritual maturity to us it also establishes you even your freedom you get your freedom through the word of god and we also discovered that when you read the word of god you discover your purpose in life you discover your purpose in life and also you ex- you expect impartation today i want us to end this topic on on studying the word of god in spiritual things amen and we are going to look at at uh, the fifth one which is deliverance amen the word of god will deliver you the word of god let me tell you the word of god delivers somebody i've been here maybe you are in a problem deliverance is self deliverance maybe it's a habit maybe it is a spirit maybe it is a sickness it also works with our lives in our career you know in our destinies in our ministries the word of god it will deliver our foundations i've realized that god is in the progress of delivering foundations amen 
We kept on dealing with the foundations of this nation. We kept on dealing with the foundation of the top leaders. And maybe some of us took it for granted. But let me tell you, if we never obeyed the voice of God, what is happening today would be worse. Yes, because the foundation reinforces, the foundation strengthens, the foundation of powers that are in the foundation they are activated and they work together with the powers of darkness that desire to destroy. Amen. So the word of God is the word of God. The word of God commands deliverance. Yes, it commands deliverance. Now, when you go to Jeremiah, when we go to Jeremiah, let's look at Jeremiah. Let's look at Jeremiah and uh, this is 23. Let me confirm with this one. Yes, 23, 23. Jeremiah 23, 23. The word of God, let me tell you something. I have tasted this word. I may not have tasted all of it, but at least I have some literal test of this word. The word of God in Jeremiah 23, 23 is a reality in my life that when you read the word of God, and you are dealing with something using that word. Yes, using that word. For example, put your finger there. For example, when you go to Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 12, Hebrews chapter 12 and verses 20, uh, and verses 29. Hebrews 12, 29. The Bible says that for our God is a consuming fire. Our God is a consuming fire. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verses 24, our God is a consuming fire. Hebrews 12, 29, our God is a consuming fire. Now, when you have that knowledge in your spirit and there is a situation that is with, uh, ahead of you, there is a sickness, there is a problem, there is a spirit that is tormenting you, Immediately when you say, the Bible says in Hebrews 20, uh, 12 verse 29 and Deuteronomy chapter 4 verses 24, that my God is a consuming fire. You wicked power that is controlling my home, that is controlling my destiny, that is standing against my ways of progress. The fire of God will consume you. I'm telling you, the word of God will, will consume it even before you finish your prayers. The reason why we don't believe in the word of God, it is because we don't have open eyes. Yes, when you have open eyes in the spirit realm and you take a scripture, you deal with it and you speak in tongues. My friend, I'm telling you the truth. You will see the fire. You will see that situation be removed. Amen. Yes. The word of God, it is a reality in my life. It is like a garment. Yani, the word of God is like this beautiful flower here. It is like that. You look at it, you, it works for you. It works for you. I'm telling you, it works for you. It is like, Yani, it's like a book. Yes, you can feel it because you are, you, 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 you are the, your eyes are open. Look at Jeremiah 23, 23. I am a God at hand. Yes, anytime I'm here, even as we are speaking, he is here. But you don't believe it because you can't see him. You can't even feel his presence. And I'm not talking about you. I'm just teaching. Yes, God, the Bible says that where two or three are gathered. Yes, put your finger there. Let's go to Matthew, where two or three are gathered. Matthew chapter 18, where two or three are gathered. Chapter 18, verses 18. The moment you understand, the word of God is simple. I don't know why we get like it is very complicated. Matthew 18, 18. This is what the Bible says. Verily I say to you, whatsoever you shall bind here on earth shall be bound in heaven. Shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you shall lose here on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Whatever you refuse here on earth, it shall be refused. But because our eyes are closed, we don't see that is why the word of God go together with your spiritual life. Amen. Now, the Bible says in verses 19, again, I say to you that if two of you, we don't need three people, two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that shall ask, they shall ask. 
it shall be done for them of the father in heaven of my father in heaven. whatever me and you i don't need many people just me and you to agree that riots will go down that the finance bill though the heavens does not know it as finance bill the heaven knows it as economy of kenya yes now when we agree it shall not go through but if we doubt the, then it can't work so we have to agree amen listen the bible says in verse 20 for where two or three are gathered me and you and my editors me and my pastors me and you we are more than two the bible says where two or three are gathered together in my name there i am in the midst of them yes who one where two or three we are more than we are more than 10 we are more than 20 yes those that listen to me those that responds to my message those that follow me those that have subscribed into this in this in this broadcast or this page we are more than 8000 so if we agree we are more than one we are 8000 if we agree anything touching anything God do hear us. Uh-huh. Now, the Bible says for where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. There I am in the midst of them. Jeremiah 23 and verse 23. I am God at hand. He is here. He is here. He is God at hand. He is here. And the Bible says says the Lord and not a God afar off. I am I not a god at hand and god not far off so god is everywhere that is why he's called omnipresence he is everywhere when you enter into the hole he is there even in that hole he is there even under the water he is there yes when you when you are in problems when i say under the water maybe you are swimming you think that because you are swimming under under water you feel like god is not there he is there my friend anywhere even when there is darkness in this nation god is there and he is in this thing yes these are things god has been speaking to us since 2020 visit all my clips all my prayers my videos listen to them carefully you can spare a whole day if you are not working you can spare a whole night and say i'm going to catch and listen to apostle damaris every day you can choose i'm going to be listening three videos or two yes God has God is in this thing God is here amen and at the end of it is going to give us light and i have already prophesied and told you that the month of august nobody will deal with it god will show us mercy and god said that we pray for those months because the powers of darkness will fight those months yes they will fight the devil wants to torment us but he will not succeed ah uh-uh. he will not we are here to pray We are here to stand with the nation of Kenya no matter what. Yes, I told you about the graph. You know the graph. Now verse 24. Can any hide himself in secret place that I cannot see him? Macho ya Bwana ya naniona Na roho wako Wanana niona Macho yako Bwana yananiona Na roho wako Bwana ananiona Niende wapi Mimi nikijificha na macho yako bwana yananiona niende wapi mimi nikijificha na macho yako bwana yananiona amen can any hide in secret place let me tell you The word of God will deliver you. Can any there are things I cannot talk in this broadcast that God has shown to me. God has spoken to me about what is happening now. Yes, from 2020 I cannot 
2022. I cannot. Because those are secret things of the Lord. He reveals to me and my children. He reveals to me that I may pray. Amen. Yes. So when I hear one, two, three, four, I say, ah, this one, this one. We are taking this thing for granted, but there are forces behind it. Listen, the eyes of the Lord, they see even in darkness. They see in darkness. And when they see in darkness, they expose. Amen. Hmm. Hiya. Listen, can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, says the Lord. Do not I feel heaven and earth, says the Lord. The word of God, the word of God, the word of God, the word of God. When you look in chapter 5, Jeremiah 5, 14, the word of God will deliver you. Wherefore, thus says the Lord God of hosts, because you speak this word, be cold, I will make my words in your mouth fire, and these people wound, and it shall devour them. The word of God is fire. The word of God brings deliverance. It kills poverty. It kills sicknesses. Yes. The enemy, even the doctors have sentenced you to death. But when the word of God is involved, he brings life. The one that was supposed to die is given life. The business that was supposed to be closed because of the word of God, your business is delivered. A ministry that was supposed to be shut, God delivers that ministry through the word. Yes. Yes. A home that was to break, God delivers that home and brings love because of the word of God. Delivers you from divorce. A barren woman is delivered from, called, from being called a barren woman and is called a mother of many, like Hannah. Yes, the word of God. It delivers the nation. The word of God is what is keeping the nation and it is what will deliver this nation. Look at Jeremiah 23, 29. 23, 29. It's not my word like a fire. My word is like a fire. This Bible you hold like this. This word, the word from the word of God. That is why we studied the word of God. The word that your pastor speaks every day to you on Sunday, you know, every day if you have a privilege to have lunch hour, evening, yani, the word of God is a hammer, is fire, says the Lord. And like a hammer that breaks the rock into pieces. This force that is behind the finance bill, it is a force. The word of God will consume it. The word of God will break it into pieces. The word of God. The word of God. The word of God. From 2022 till today, I speak to you about the word of God. I see. I hear. And this is what God is saying. That is what will preserve the nation of Kenya. I'm hearing people and, you know, it's like they are the only ones that hold the nation of Kenya. No. God is holding the nation of Kenya himself. God is holding and God has, a hold, has held the nation of Kenya. The Bible says, is not my word like a fire. Is not my word like a fire. Every time you read the word of God, look at it as fire. Yes. When God says you shall not die but live, Psalms 118 verse 17, you will not die but you shall declare the goodness. That's scripture. It is fire. It is fire. When God says that my lane shall fall in pleasant places in, in, in Psalms chapter 16, verses 5, 6, and 7, when the Bible says that, that is fire. And the Bible says that, and like a hammer shall break the rocks into pieces. It is a hammer. It breaks hard circumstances. Hard circumstances. If the foundations of the righteous man are destroyed, what would the righteous do? Psalms 11 verse 3. If the foundations be destroyed, what would the righteous do? It hits the foundation. Yes. Yes. The word of God. And I pray that you are going to enjoy reading the word of God. 
Every time you read a scripture, and even if it is not making sense, it is a hammer to hammer something. It is the fire to consume something. Yes, it is. When God speaks, he has said it. Nobody can hinder it. Psalms 140 verse 7, the Bible says that you are my God, Lord and Lord. That your hand is going to cover. You are the one who is my salvation. And your hand covers my head in the days of battle. That is a hammer. It breaks. So when the enemy throws an arrow, the arrow is, 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 is weakened. Yes, it is weakened. The word of God. Are you born again? Are you saying, woman of God, I want to receive Jesus Christ as my personal savior? I want you to pray this prayer. Lord Jesus, I come to you. I'm asking you to forgive me. Write my name in the book of life and remove my name from the book of death. And from today, I confess that Jesus is my king and my personal savior in Jesus' name. You have made a good choice. Get a good church in your location and become a, a saint there and serve the, the God of that pastor. If you are around Embu County kindly, I would want you to come to Embu Cinema Hall. This is where we meet for our Sunday services. And from Monday to Friday, full time, we are there in the house of prayer from 12 up to 2.30. This is where we do two hours and a half prayer. And God is going to bless you in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for those ones that have accepted you as their personal savior. I also want to bless and to thank you, Father, for this nation. I pray that you may continue reigning your peace, preserving our, Jesus, our generation Z, protect them, preserve them, and keep them, and let their light continue burning. Let their dust destinies be preserved. Those that have lost their lives, Lord, even as they are fighting this battle in this nation, Father God, we pray that you are going to show us mercy and encourage their families. My God, I pray, show this nation mercy. Show this nation mercy. Help us, Father. Help the intercessors to go into hiding and to pray and let your name be glorified. I want to thank all my viewers and all the partners. Father God, I bless them. I pray that their pockets will never dry, that you are going to lift their lives and you are going to favor them such a time as this. Thank you for those that follow me. Let your hand rest upon them and continue blessing them. And in general, I pray for anybody and everyone that is under this grace. Keep them, preserve them, watch over their lives, and let your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you have my number? I want you to kindly call me, send me a message, and tell me what God is doing through your life, in your life through this ministry. And if you are my partner, let me know, and God is going to help you. This is my pay bill number. I want you to partner with me with 1,000 or 500. Send me your seed, your tithes, that I may continue preaching the gospel in this nation. In Jesus' name, 40022. My account number is 173-9983 hash. And this is the number you send your transaction, 0746-553-997. God bless you. Always remember that where there is a prophet, there is a testimony. And by the hand of Apostle Damaris, signs and wonders and miracles are your portion today. God bless you. Amen.